do it like it's your birthday, baby. Hi, beautiful. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Sarah. Today, you can see I have no makeup on, which is not normal for me. So, I'm gonna show y'all what I do when I'm about to go out or when I have to do my own makeup for an event. This is how you bake beat your face for the gods. A lot of y'all have asked me for this, finally showing y'all, so if you wouldn't mind, like, give this video a thumbs up. First thing you always wanna do is you want to prep your skin. I love prepping with glow screen, which is sunscreen. Wear sunscreen at night. For my melanin queens, if you do not want hyperpigmentation or little melasma spots like I have, I definitely recommend wearing sunscreen at night. I like taking Giorgio Armani Luminizing Primer. I like to go in with a setting spray. This is the Dew Mist by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next thing I like to do is set my brows. Basically what I do is I take any type of edge control. So I like run through edge control. This edge control is from the Braid Bar. My braider has her own line. Girl got some dark spots, so I like to color correct. I just take an eyeshadow brush and I take my MAC in NC45. And I have no mirror in front of me, so I'm using the mirror down here. Don't mind me. I just try to get rid of any harshness, but not fully blending, if you get what I'm saying. Take a dense brush and my foundation using obviously doesn't have a cap none of my stuff has caps but i'm using my nars my light reflecting foundation this is in the color i don't know how to say that marquesis i don't know but i do put this on the back of my hand i'm telling you guys paint don't blend paint another trick that i really do like is getting a foundation that is a little bit redder than I am or a little bit darker because my concealer will lighten up the foundation anyway. I think that's my trick. Then I'm going to take a beauty blender and blend. So the next step that I do is my eyebrows. And I like doing my eyebrows after my foundation so that if I mess up, then I can just clean it up with concealer and then go on with concealer. Light hand in the front and then have a heavy hand after the half of my eyebrow so it kind of looks like fade. I like creating shape instead of thickness, if you get what I'm saying. I'm taking my MAC concealer and I'm gonna carve out the brow. I start pretty low. Boom. Period. I like this brush because I like taking the other side of it and just blending that out would you guys want me to start an amazon storefront i kind of want to do that like girl i love amazon like half my things are from amazon let me know what y'all think tell me if you guys want me to start one because i literally will My M19. This is bomb. This stuff. This is from Pat McGrath. M19. Best of ever. Go it underneath and right here. Put it down the center of my nose, right here. If you have a mustache, I'm telling you this is the best hack on the sides of my nose and the chin. To keep your concealer wet, setting spray. Boom. And you want to take your setting powder immediately so it does not have the opportunity to crease. I look up and blend that out. Then I like taking a 
a little eyeshadow brush and I like taking a setting powder once again. Eye area, so where I put the concealer for the brows. You don't want under your eyebrows to be shiny. So I normally take my Charlotte Tilbury. This is a holy grail. It's this big hand bronzer. I don't like cream contouring. I just haven't gotten into it. It just hasn't worked for me. I do this to my nose and my eyes all in the same time. In the middle between dense and fluffy, I take this type of brush and I blend that out. I also go a little bit underneath the nose for that button effect. like taking a big fluffy Murphy brush and just sculpting the face. Go back in and wet the face and blend out that contour a little bit more. Girls of color, please use orange blush. Orange blush is so pretty. For highlight, so what I really like to do is I like only putting highlight on my nose. My Jaclyn Hills Cosmetics, this is in the shade Balm. Exclamation point. Sometimes I like putting it in my inner corner, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Okay, so my face is pretty much done, so I'm gonna leave it alone. work on my eyes now so i know this is a lip liner but if you can put it on your lips you can put it on your eyes i don't know why but it's not as heavy as like a black but it is really dark but i just love the look of it so i'm gonna underline my water lid and i just blend that out with this type of brush so today i'm using lash box lashes in a box these come in a pair of 10. do it like a show be they baby Who are you? Who am I? I am that <laughs> Quit playing with me. Now I'm gonna do some under eye mascara and a little top to blend. I'm gonna take a little rat tail comb, put a little mascara on it, and draw a beauty mark. Now I'm gonna do my lips. First thing I go in with is my Rem Beauty lip liner. Yeah, my Rem Beauty lip liner. This I am gonna overline my lips because we want the juice. Take my beauty blender, blend that out because there's already concealer on my lip to create a color. This is also Rem Beauty. This is the final look. It's definitely giving. I really love this look, but I know a lot of people did want to see how I did my face, how I catfish everyone. Definitely let me know what you guys want to see. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel. So do it. I love you guys with all my heart, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.